Hello, in this video tutorial I will demonstrate how to start developing add-ins for SOLIDWORKS using .NET Core in Visual Studio Code. To make things easier I'm going to use free and open source xcut.net framework. Let's start by creating a new project in .NET Core. For that I'm going to create a new folder where my project will be located. I will give it some name and select this folder to open in Visual Studio Code. I will open a terminal and call .NET new command with class lib type of my project and also will specify the framework to be .NET Core 3.1. We can validate that project has a .NET Core 3.1. Now we can just rename this class and also the file name for consistency. I will now go ahead and install xcut.net package. For that I'm going to use .NET add package command and pass the ID of xcut framework. Let me bring the namespace so I can use network APIs. At first I'm going to inherit that class from swaddingx from the framework. I can override onConnect function which is going to be an entry point of my addin and going to be called every time my addin loads in SOLIDWORKS. Let's now display a simple hello world message box to see our add-in works. SOLIDWORKS add-ins are COM object and must be registered as such. For that I'm just going to import system runtime interrupt services namespace and mark that class as COM visible. If I would be using .NET framework this would be all I need to create my add-in. For .NET Core there are several additional steps needs to be done. Firstly I have to add GUID to my COM class. I can use new GUID command from my terminal to quickly generate a new identifier. Of course you can use other option to generate the GUID. So let me copy that into my attribute. As a next step I need to add enable com hosting property into my csproj file. And finally I need to redirect the registration of my solar's add-ins due to some limitations in .NET Core. You do not need to do this if you're doing .NET Framework add-in. I will simply need to declare register function and just call the register function from swaddingx and pass the type. I need to do the same for unregister. Those functions would add necessary information into the registry so solvers can recognize that add-in. Now the setup complete and we can build our project and load that in SOLIDWORKS. I'm just going to use .NET build command and when it is completed I can just run SOLIDWORKS and should see the message box. And as you can see add-in is loaded successfully. We can also find that add-in in our add-ins list. So for now it's just named after the class. That completes the tutorial for the minimal add-in. Now let's do some customization. At first let's give our add-in some more meaningful name and also provide a description. I can use display name attribute and just pass the name of my add-in in its parameter. Description attribute allows to assign me the description of my add-in. Let's add new button into the menu and toolbar so we're going to display the message box when this button is clicked instead of displaying that on the startup. I have added namespace to access the APIs for my command manager. I can see there is an option to add command group. There are two overloads of this function and I will be using second one allowing us to define commands via enumeration. I simply need to declare a new enum and define the buttons I want to see in my toolbar as the fields of the enum. I just need to pass that enumeration as a generic argument and can handle the command clicked event to react on my button click. Unfortunately Visual Studio Code EDA is a little bit limited compared to Visual Studio so I need to define my function manually instead of just hitting tab to generate the function automatically. On command click function will be called every time user presses a button and will also pass the ID of that button in case I have multiple buttons in my toolbar. So I'm just going to switch that command, just check the value of the enumeration and in this case I only have one value and I'm just going to display the message box if say hello button is clicked. Similarly to adding display name and description for my add-in I can decorate the buttons as well. I'm just going to use title attribute and just specify the name of the button and I'm going to use the description attribute to specify the description of that button. Let's build project again and validate the result. Now when I start SOLIDWORKS I should not see the message box at loading and I don't. And I can validate how my add-in looks in add-ins dialog. So as you can see it now has a title and description as specified in my code. We will also find a new say hello button in our tools menu which is correspond to the button we created and you can see the title and description as we have assigned it in our code. 
when we click this button message box is displayed. Thank you for watching this video.